Scripture News Channel. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Nineveh will be destroyed by fire. My dear brothers and sisters, I would like to draw your attention to a powerful verse from the book of Nahum chapter 3 verse 15. The verse reads, There the fire will devour you, the sword will cut you down and, like grasshoppers, consume you. Multiply like grasshoppers, multiply like locusts. In this verse, the prophet Nahum delivers a message of warning and judgment to the great city of Nineveh. Nineveh was once a mighty city, known for its power and influence. However, it had also become a place of wickedness, corruption, and cruelty. The people of Nineveh had turned away from God and had embraced a lifestyle that was contrary to God's will. God, in his justice and righteousness, declares through prophet Nahum that the city of Nineveh will face destruction. The imagery used in the verse is vivid and striking. The fire will devour them, the sword will cut them down, and they will be consumed like grasshoppers. It is a powerful portrayal of the consequences of their sinful actions. This verse reminds us about the seriousness of sin and the justice of God. It also reminds us that there are consequences to our choices and actions, especially when we turn away from God and indulge in wickedness. But this verse also highlights the importance of repentance and God's mercy. While Nineveh faced destruction, the people had the opportunity to turn away from their evil ways and seek God's forgiveness. The book of Jonah tells us that when Jonah preached a message of repentance, the people of Nineveh responded by humbling themselves before God, fasting, and turning from their wickedness. As a result, God relented from bringing destruction upon them. In our own lives, we may become ensnared in sin, and make decisions that are contrary to God's will. In those times, we must remember the message of Nahum 3 verse 15. We must acknowledge the gravity of our deeds and the necessity for repentance. We must repent of our immoral behavior and seek God's forgiveness and grace. God is a just God, but He is also a merciful God. He desires that we turn to Him, humble ourselves before Him, and seek His forgiveness. Whatever our crimes may be, God's mercy is still greater. Let us examine our hearts and lifestyles as we consider this verse. Are there any areas where you have abandoned God? Is it necessary for you to confess and repent of any sins? Let us not reject the warning in Nahum 3 verse 15, but rather use it as a wake-up call to return to God and seek His forgiveness. May we be a people who walk in righteousness and obey the instructions of God. May we strive to respect Him in whatever we do, and may we find comfort in His tender kindness and grace. Amen. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the notification button and subscribe to my channel for more inspiring and informative contents. May God bless you.